orbital bombardment, why the high ground doesn't win. Holding the high ground is often seen as the ultimate advantage or even a guarantee of victory, but orbit isn't the hill, it's a physics problem. If we're assuming starships capable of carrying heavy arsenals across planets, or even between star systems, and if both sides are at roughly the same technological level, then pretty few hundred ships in orbit does grant an advantage. Every projectile you fire gains a free boost of roughly 10 kilometers per second from gravity, while the defenders must fight that same pool. The trouble is, getting that fleet into orbit in the first place takes several times as much Delta V, that fleet came from somewhere so the advantage is real but not overwhelming. Spaceships also have to stay light and much of their armor is simply fuel and propellant, keeping them alive and mobile. They have no cover and they're easy to target. Orbital defenses face similar limits though can be more heavily armored, but ground defenses do not, they can afford far thicker armor since they don't need to launch anywhere. Even if you burn through those orbital guns you still face the planet itself, an entire industrialized world whose weapons may be buried under armored bunkers or hidden under oceans. Submarine launchers can rise, fire, and vanish beneath thick shields of water. The fleet above burns fuel and munitions just to dodge orbital debris from the initial space battle and survive, while the Federals can resupply endlessly. So yes, firing from the top of Gravity Well has its perks, but the real advantage lies at the bottom, where the Gravity Well exists precisely because there's so much useful matter down there to build weapons from, including orbital defenses and your own fleets.